Pastor Mark. All right, thank you. God bless you, Pastor. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. To receive something from God. All right. I learned something in my life. It's very important for you to understand. A long time ago, a long, very long time ago in Africa, I was preaching in a big conference. A lot of people show up. It was a crowd of people. And I was happy. A couple of days later, people didn't show up. I was like, what's going on, God? What's happened? And the God said this to me. I'm the one who sends people. You don't have to worry about people. I preach the gospel. And I want everybody to understand the gospel. If you do not understand really the gospel, it's going to be hard for you to be blessed. Look, this man, Jesus, when he died, was not an assassination. It's not like a weak man, they killed him. He could not defend himself. No, far away. It was not a murder. They killed somebody innocent, and nobody could speak for him. No. The death of Jesus was the sacrifice. He gave himself for you and I to be saved. If you understand that with the sacrifice, you're going to be a strong believer. Jesus is so powerful. Let me tell you this again. Let me tell this. Please, listen to me. Everything needed in our life has a condition to obtain it. The grace of God is not like uh, I'm sitting down and uh, finally everything changed, you know? Everything needed in your life has a condition. Even the grace of God has a condition. God say, I resist the proud. And then I give a grace to the humble. If you need the grace of God in your life, humble yourself. Everything has a condition. Everything a condition. Look, the disciples come to Jesus. They say, God, Lord, how we fell to drive out this demon from this young child. Jesus said, this type of demon can go out only by prayer. Condition, prayer. God said to Gideon, I choose you. With you, your country, your people will be delivered. But wait a minute, before that, go and destroy the altar of your father. Condition. So God is trying to tell you something tonight. From that thing, I'm about to speak in your heart now. If you pay attention, and you believe in it, something is about to happen in your life. I'm going to talk, I'm going to be very quick, about the book of Psalm 23. Everybody knows about this Psalm. It's very good. I like it myself. I read it, and they read it often and often, I confess it. I 
I recite it every single day. Until the day the Lord told me, You cannot only confess, only recite, only read. You have to live it in your life. Say, the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He make me lie down in green pasture. He lead me beside the quiet waters. He refreshed my soul. He guided me along the right path for his name's sake. Even though, I like this, I walk the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Woo. Why this? We confess it. We read it. Why sometimes it doesn't happen in our life? Let us be honest. You know, God likes honest people. One day he called somebody and said, hey, come on, I pray for you. Did you see now? This man was honest. Look, he said, Lord, I, I, I can say this. I see people, but they look like trees. You know what I'm saying? And the God said, he didn't say go. He said, come back. I will pray again for you. And the second touch, he say, I see it clear now. If you are not honest with God, it's going to be horrible. Let us be honest. All these things David is talking about, we confess it. We really live it in our life. Why only David? Watch this. He said, the Lord is mine, not yours, not our, mine. You must make God your own shepherd. It was a between relationship, God and the servant David. How about you? How about me? How about you? Can you say this without living, without any experience? I don't want to sing it only because we sing this. It's even a psalm song with this psalm. Very good. One of the famous psalms in the Bible, 23. He said, the goodness and the love of God will follow me all the days of my life. Are you sure? If not, something is wrong. Because God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If not, something may be wrong somewhere in your life. Mm -hmm. Here's the question. When you cry to God, you are my guide, you are my shepherd. God is calling you also, you are my sheep. There is no shepherd without a sheep. If you want a God to be your shepherd, you must be yourself a sheep. A sheep. Now, who is a sheep? How the sheep act before the shepherd? That's the question. God will never change. God is the same. People may change all the time, but God will never change. How the sheep before God? The Bible says this. 
John 10, 27. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, they follow me. The problem, we do not listen to God. If you listen to God, you are really a sheep of God. But watch this. Again, I like this. David say, my shepherd. God say, my, my sheep. If somebody use the word mine, that means there may be some other sheep who are not his. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them. They follow me. Do you follow God? Listen, I don't say that you do not have a shepherd. You may have one. Maybe it's not him. That's the point. You can be the shepherd of yourself. Do you know how long God was talking to you? You don't listen to the voice. One day, there was a party, and uh, I want to buy the, the shoes, new shoes. I was happy because of that party. I went to the store. That day, I found the best shoes. I was saying to myself, the day these shoes will come back, I will buy it straight. But I asked the size. That was not my size. But I said, God, I love, I love these shoes. Listen, one voice was telling me, this is not your size. Guess what? I bought it anyway. <laughs> the day of the party, Big party with a friend, a Christian. We praise the God. And I was there. I said, my God, I'm about to die. <laughs> and then somebody said to me, Pastor, you don't worship the God? I said, yes. I um, worship God on my own way. I cannot stand up and praise. I cannot stand because in my feet was like a fire. And the God was telling you, you see now. You didn't listen to me. Because you like it, attack it. True story. Daddy, I was like, Man, can, can you stop the prayers as quick as possible? Because I, I, I'm trying to dance, but... I'm kidding myself. My question to you, do you really listen to God? Oh, listen to, listen, God talk to me. Listen, listen this. Do not bargain with God. In your life, avoid. If God says something, do it. Do not negotiate with God. Like I know a friend of mine, he did wrong to a brother, but he met the wife of that man. He said, can you please? 
Tell your husband to forgive me. I did you wrong. Tell your husband to forgive me. The lady said, you know what? You the one you did wrong to my husband. Can you go yourself and say to him, forgive me? Do not burden with God. What God tells you, do, do it. People like this. Give money for the church. You go say no. Anyway, I give this money I support to give for the church. I give it to my friend. Anyway, he's still giving. No. If you do not do exactly what God wants you to do, you disobey God. God tell you, use this man. You say, I don't really like this man, but I'm going to use another man. They're still men both, right? You disobey God. You disobey God. God wants you to do exactly the way he told you to do. You will build this tabernacle according on the way I told you to do. Not according to yourself. Look, you don't know, we don't know, we don't know. We don't know anything until God tells you what. Like nothing. <laughs> oh my God. Look, as long as the Lord is my shepherd, I will receive everything needed. But if he's not, you know, sometimes we think he is when he's not. Do you know that? Something you think you're right when you're wrong. Don't be very sure of yourself. Be careful. Everything ask God. Sometimes we think we do what is right. When for God is not right. How can you do what is right? Except to be in connection with God every single day. Oh, my God. Look, no one will stand beside you the last day to defend you. You're going to be yourself before God. You may say this, they didn't want me to do this. That's not an excuse before God. One day, God is telling me to tell you, and very soon, you will stand yourself before God. I will not be there to defend my wife, even though I love her so much. I will not stand there to defend my wife. She must give an account for herself. You're going to give an account for yourself. Do what you're supposed to do. What are you waiting for? Cannot wait tomorrow to do what you're supposed to do today. Tomorrow doesn't belong to you. We don't know about tomorrow, only God, but do what you're supposed to do today. Where is Peter? 
Where is Paul? Elijah will preach. They are no longer there, right? We will no longer be there after a while. Verse 4. He say, even though I walk in the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. <laughs> I, you know, I, I met different type of people. You know, I, I'm an apostle. I, I met different type of people in different places. I, I met some people, they are not even born again. They will tell you, God is with me. I know my God. That's what they think. But we cannot judge anybody. I just want you to make sure if God is with you. David say, for I know you are with me. If God is with you, what God is doing with you? That's my question. You may stand up and they do something. This is the time. The time for everyone to stand up and to work for God. I like this. I don't have to follow because it's a goodness and love follow me all the days of my life. Watch this. Follow me. David didn't say, I follow goodness and the love of God. No. I follow God, goodness, and the love of God, follow me. Some people, they follow God for what God can do for them. They don't really follow God. Can you imagine your wife tell you one day, listen, my husband, I never, never, never love you in my life. I like only your check. When you bring a check home, you are my husband. No check, you are not. How are you going to feel? Happy? No. Same thing, if we love God only for what he can do, he won't do. He won't do. I want you to check yourself, go inside of yourself, and check your heart. I really love God. I really, really follow God. Even when I sing, when I preach, when I pray, my heart really, really loves God. That's a good question. Good question. Need the answer in your heart. There is in our heart what they call witness light is the conscience. God gives everyone what we call conscience inside of you. This kind of light. Sometimes the heart is beeping, beep, 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 to tell you you're the one. But God is still in love with you. You better switch. Forget about your need. Look at God, what he did for you. Your need will follow you. You see your need there? The sickness in your body, 
is nothing before God. He can speak just one word. One word. I saw it in my life. As an evangelist, I saw big words. I saw with my life. Blind. Not only the Bible, in my life. Jump! I can see now! That's the gospel of Jesus. I can see now! I saw people. I can walk in the name of Jesus. And God can change your life. I'm telling you the truth. God can change every single person's life. And there is a condition. Do you follow Jesus? Do you really? If not, change. Let us read one more verse. Then we're going to have time to pray together. Yes, I know the Holy Spirit is speaking in your heart. God is not afraid of men. That's what I like about God. Everybody is a man before God. When he speaks, he speaks. He knows why. He cannot just give you what you want. He checked. He got himself. He found out that no, 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 no. Marco, can you please tell my people? I'm, a, I'm a ready to bless them. But... blessing you can do in heaven if you miss heaven make a shoot today if you miss heaven you will never miss hell I'm telling you if you miss heaven you will not miss hell you cannot say I miss both uh uh-uh. But if you miss hell, be happy. Heaven is for you. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. Ah, this scripture changed my life one time. From that moment, I do not worry anymore. Love me, hate me, insult me. In my life, nothing will change. And the the Bible said this, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord like the rivers of waters. He turns it wherever he (laughs) wishes. That's wonderful. That means any type of person. I don't care how weak he is or evil. God can touch his heart. God can touch the heart of your supervisor. He was mad against you today and tomorrow he changed. So do not worry if people hate you. Remember this, his heart is like a river in God's hand. God came that touch his heart. Hey, you, you hurt my child from today, love him. You will not understand how things will change. I prophesy to somebody today, think is about to change in your life. Jesus is about to change in your life. You continue to pray and to praise God. Things will change.
Haman. Haman in the Bible pushed the king to kill Mordecai. It was a decided he will die. The king wrote already a sentence, a decree, he's gonna die. The gallows was ready. Everything was ready for him to die. Mordecai continued to pray. That last night, the Bible said the king could not sleep. God want to touch the heart of the king and turn it, and turn it to give Mordecai favor. God himself touch the heart of the king. God will touch the heart of your enemy. Instead of hanging Mordecai, he honored Mordecai. God is about to honor people here. He gonna touch the heart of people. That should, believe me, that make God your shepherd, your shepherd, full shepherd, because there is seasonal shepherd. People here, Susan the Shepherd, sometimes they love God. This season, you see, is so, so motivated. He loves God. This is my season. I love. After a while, when the trouble comes, no. No. I can't do it. I'm a tired, praying all the time because of trouble. Season uh, Shepherd. No, it's not. God is not like that. Passion. Shepherd, you know what Shepherd? God is my God in some area. There's an area like, area like my family. Don't touch my family. My family, I'm the boss, is not a God. God, I can pray God, I seek God the direction according to the prayer, the, the word of God. My blessing is God. But when it comes to my life, to my work, even my love life, you know what I'm saying? God cannot lead me in that way. I'm doing it myself. That's a part of you. But God want to be in your life a full shepherd. Yes, full shepherd. There's some area in your life you didn't give it to God yet. Some area, I can see it. Some area like this, this is another area. You see this? What's the name of this? Wallet, right? It's another area. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Listen, the word of God must be preached clear. This is another area. Some area is your body. It's your body. Your body doesn't belong to yourself. Can you go out, neck, and the people come, hey, what are you doing? You say, no, it's my body. Leave me. I can walk like this. It's my body. No, it's not your body. The body belongs to God. Your body is not really yours. It belongs to God. You need to give God all area. Close your eyes. Please, now. Everybody close your eyes. You need to give God every area of your life. If you decide to do so, I want to see your hand. I will pray from here. Let her raise your hand. Thank you. Raise your hand. I want to see. Thank you. Thank you. Raise your hand. All your hand. If there's somewhere you see yourself, this area, this area, I'm the master myself. I lead it myself. It's no longer God. Oh, it's not God yet. God wants you to give it. Can you stand up? Raise your hand. Stand up. We're going to pray. Stand up, please. Raise your hand. This area, God wants to take care. God wants to take care. There is somewhere I can see. Your, your, your love life is still yourself. You don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes something breaks down in your life. There is no understanding. Your marriage is not the way people think it is. There is something wrong. You don't tell anybody. But I believe in my heart. I can see it. That's what I give to God. Do me a favor. Can you come here? I feel like we can pray together. Just come here. All together. Come on, please. We're going to pray together. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Do not hesitate. If you feel like it, God is touching your heart. Do not hesitate. This is the word of God for you. Please, come on. I beg you, come on. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to pray all together. God is just here with us. Hallelujah. Hmm, thank you. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. But we lack everything. It doesn't work. Can you just come tonight before God and make him a full, full shepherd in your life? Thank you, my sister. Thank you. Do not hesitate. This is your day. This is your day. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Can you open your mouth? Speak yourself first before God. Talk to God. He is your God. He is talk to God. And the only one question, is he, is he really your shepherd? Talk to him and invite him. Say, God, come and be my shepherd. Full. Like assurance, full coverage. It's different than any liability. Full coverage. Something happened to you. If you dare with your child, your child, they are all covered. Oh my goodness, that's good to hear that. They are all covered. Full coverage, assurance. Everything. If you are there, you have a problem in your leg, they will fix it. They will fix the car, they fix the people, they fix your children, they fix your wife, they fix your family, because the God is your shepherd, full. Hallelujah. Thank you. Raise your hand. I'm about to touch you with my hand to say to God to bless you. Hallelujah, my God. Thank you. Receive your blessing from today in the name of Jesus. You will no longer be the same. Hallelujah. Receive the blessing from God in the name of Jesus. You will no longer be the same. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You will no longer be the same. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance today. Accept it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, my God. I praise you. I praise you tonight. I praise you. The anointing of God will touch you. In the name of Jesus, receive it. Receive you no longer be the same. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Stop crying. No more cry. God, hear your prayer. Stop crying in the name of Jesus. Stop crying. I can see you cry a lot in the name of Jesus. You cry a lot. God said to me, he hear your prayer in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. You no longer be sick. I believe in the name of Jesus. God is touching you now. God is touching you. God is touching you now in the name of Jesus. God is touching you. He's touching you now. Touch, touch, touch God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God is touching you in the name of Jesus. God is touching you now. Everything will get to change. Believe. Everything will get changed. Just make him a full shepherd in your life. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. I pray for this baby in the name of Jesus. In the name, be a servant of God. In the name of Jesus, be a servant of God. Let the shadow of God cover you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you, servant of God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. You will see the glory of God. You shall see it in the name of Jesus. God will honor you. God will honor your people in the name of Jesus. If I didn't pray for you, raise your hand. I want to touch every single person. If you need me to touch I didn't touch you, just raise your hand. I pray for everybody, all right, in the name of Jesus. Father, I come before you in the name of Jesus. I believe in you. You are not a liar. You are God. Everything that you say, you will do it in the name of Jesus. Everything that you say, God, you will do it in the name of Jesus. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. I prophesy. I speak your word to my brother. I speak your word to my sister. It will no longer be the same in the name of Jesus. Everyone says with me, amen, amen. Give God a big hand. Hallelujah.